lot of different ways to get started blogging. The choices available are actually quite mind-boggling. But if you're looking for an extremely simple way to start a blog, or if you're just interested in consolidating the content you post from other sources, Tumblr is an easy-to-use platform to handle it. In this video, I'll be going through the basics of setting up a Tumblr blog. The first thing you'll need to do is sign up for an account. The most important decision that you'll make here is deciding what your URL is going to be. There's no pressure because if you change your mind later on, you can easily change it in the customized screen. I'm just going to use my name, so that'll make my URL williamchinda.tumblr.com. Once you've signed in, Tumblr will drop you into the dashboard, which is the main interface you'll be using in Tumblr. I'll close out of these little tutorial boxes, but I'll definitely want to fill out the next box, which allows me to set the name of my blog and upload a profile pic. Clicking on Show All Appearance Options will take me to the Customize screen, but I'll go over that later. At the top of the dashboard, I've got the option of posting in seven different types of media. This is actually really nice because Tumblr will automatically format the post correctly based on what type of media I'm featuring. It's fairly flexible as well, so I can add a text caption to a photo post or a photo to a text post. For this first example, I'm just going to create a text post. I'll write the title in this title field and place my content in the post field. I've also got basic formatting features as well. As I said, you can insert photos into a text post as well. If you're linking to a photo from another site, you have to press the picture box in the formatting toolbar, which will bring up a dialog box where you can type the URL. If you're uploading a photo, you'll need to click the Upload Photo link that's off to the right. This will bring up a file browser where you can select your photo. One final thing I want to do is tag my post. Tags are words that help your visitors easily find related content. It makes your site easier to search. You can use as few or as many tags as you want. Just type it in and press Enter or insert a comma. When I'm finished, I'll click Create Post. Back in my dashboard, I see that the post has shown up here in my feed. By going to my URL, I can see how it'll look to visitors of my site. The tags I've set are here at the bottom. Let's say a visitor wants to read other posts that I've tagged birds. So clicking that tag will send you to a page with all the posts with that tag. I won't go through every single post type, since they're fairly self-explanatory. But I do want to just quickly show you how Tumblr handles embedded content. If you want to post a video from YouTube or Vimeo, you can just paste the URL here in this box, and Tumblr will automatically format it correctly. For videos from other sites, however, you'll have to get the embed code. To change many of the settings of your Tumblr blog, you'll have to go into the Customize screen, which you can access from the links on the right of your dashboard. This will bring up a dummy blog with examples of each type of post. All of the options you can change are accessed by the menu bar at the top. When you make a change in one of these menus, the dummy blog will adjust to reflect the change you made, giving you a preview of how your blog will look. This way you can play around with your blog's layout and none of the changes will take effect until you press save. The one thing that will most affect the look of your blog will be your theme. By clicking on the theme button on the menu bar, you can access a fairly large selection of themes. I'm not interested in paying for one, so I'll just scroll down to the free ones. If I select one, I can preview how it looks in the dummy blog. I can also make more specific changes by going into the Appearance menu. Here I'll change the accent color to blue. The types of changes you can make in the Appearance menu will vary based on what theme you have installed. If I go back to the default Redux theme, notice that there's no accent color option, but I can make changes to the background color and fonts. Let's say that in addition to my posts, I want a static page that visitors to my site will have easy access to. I can do that by going to Pages in the menu bar and selecting Add a Page. This will bring up a dialog box where I can create my page. I want to make an About Me page, so I'll just give it the appropriate URL and title, and post my content in the body box. Now, I definitely want a link for this page to appear in my blog, so I'll check the box here at the bottom that says Show a Link to this Page. If I don't check this box, there will be no way for my visitors to access it unless I give them the URL. Once I save it, notice how there is now a link to it in my blog sidebar. Where that link appears and how it will look will depend on the theme that you have installed. One of the nicest features of Tumblr is the capability to easily add feeds from other sources into your blog. I've got several Twitter accounts, two blogs, and a YouTube site, and I can consolidate all of that content into one Tumblr blog. 
I can do this by going into the services menu. Here at the top, there are options that allow you to send your Tumblr posts to Facebook and Twitter. Here at the bottom, however, is the option I want for bringing feeds into Tumblr. There's a variety of different services I can pull from, but in this example, I'll just import my Twitter account. All I need to do is input my Twitter username and press start to begin importing the feed. Unfortunately, Tumblr doesn't pull updates from feeds in real time, so it may take some time before your posts appear. I found that it takes around 12 hours for my posts on Twitter to make it over to my Tumblr blog. Here you can see that that tweet that I just sent out, formatted as a text post with no title. Just like Twitter, you can follow blogs in Tumblr, which will bring updates from other Tumblr blogs into your dashboard. Here's one that I find interesting, so I'll just click the follow button here at the top. If I go back to the dashboard, you can see that posts from that blog now show up here. If I really like one of these posts, I can reblog that post, which will place that post into my own blog. All I have to do is click reblog, which will bring up the post editor. When I click reblog post, that'll appear in my own blog. One feature that Tumblr lacks is any real statistics on visitors to your blog. Thankfully, though, it's incredibly simple to add Google Analytics to your Tumblr blog. Google Analytics provides you with a great deal of information on how many people visit, when they're visiting, what browser they're using, and a host of other useful data. Sign up by visiting analytics.google.com and sign up for a Google account if you don't have one already. I already use analytics for thoughtshots.com, so I'm going to go to this drop-down menu and choose Create New Account. Now I'll need to input the URL for my Tumblr blog. Once I've finished the setup process, I'll get this final screen with a bunch of JavaScript code. You don't need to know anything about JavaScript, just select all the contents of this box and copy it. Back in the Tumblr Customize screen, I need to go into the Info menu and paste that code into the description box. Once I've saved this, I can go back to Analytics and I can now access visitor data from my Tumblr blog. Analytics runs 24 hours behind, so I won't get any data until tomorrow. Thanks for watching. As always, you can view this video or any of my other technology learning videos for free at ThoughtShots.com, where you can also find a full transcript of this video, as well as show notes and related web links.